Hey guys, so I'm going to start this one in the bathroom. I uh, had put the sink in all pretty. It was just perfect. The cock was like just perfect across the top and looked great. And unfortunately, our sink is a pedestal type like right there. And I put the top on without putting the pedestal under it and I thought that would be fine except there is a lip underneath here and so you have to lift the sink up to get the pedestal under it so the pedestal has to go in before you cock it in place problem with that is i thought well i'm just gonna force it up a little bit and you know the cock will give some and it'll be fine it'll slip underneath there and it'll be good unfortunately that tore the paint so we had to redo this and unfortunately we didn't have the same color paint anymore so we uh, muttered it in. You, know, you can still see there's a little bit here, but that'll be behind the behind the sink, so that's okay. Um, so we repainted it in this wonderful gray. So anyway, it actually I actually like this color better than the white that we did before. So and it looks perfect. There's like just uh, there's no. I guess there's a couple little blemishes, but whatever. Nothing, nothing, you know, like here, there's a little tiny thing. But maybe I'll, eh, whatever. Anyway, last time you saw this room, I bet it was blue up on the ceiling. And uh, these walls were red. And this we put in together. The the closet here and we've got all the closet doors stained and ready to go so I'm gonna start putting those up I've got all the door jams and stuff here and in this other room it's done for the most part I need to move this IKEA cabinet thing out of here stuff on the floor and we've got this closet I need to get the door into here and I need to deal with this flooring. We're gonna bust out the little pieces of, of floor tile and I'll cut up some new pieces that'll fit in there as whole pieces so that the closet is continuous. And then there's some spots here. The people who owned the house before us um, had filled the, filled the stuff with some kind of plastic goop before they put carpet down. So we've got to dig that out and put some stainable filler in. And this room is basically done. Um, we actually repainted the ceiling and everything. Just need to put a couple new outlets in so they look pretty. Cause like that one, see, look at that. It's got red on it, ew. So I might be able to clean it up or else I'll have to replace it. And this one's actually the right size for uh, for our closet doors so we can put jams in and get it together and then we need to put trim all the way around on both these rooms. And out here is commonly referred to as a living room but we currently call it our bedroom. So that And our and our big screen TV here, our 24 inch, <laughs> with my old computer speakers I bought like 18 years ago, something like that. I don't know how long ago. It was crazy long ago though. And some of y'all might remember our kitchen. It has changed colors. It's now gray. I need to put the covers on the lights still. Um, so we've done this. I've got one cabinet to put up still out here. Um, so this one, but luckily it's an Ikea deal. So it's literally just slap it over those screws or bolts that are sticking out and throw nuts on the inside and you're done. And our dining room, also known as storage, is uh, just about ready to go. I need to get some trim together and paint it and tack it up on these walls. But other than that, I think this room is basically done other than getting it cleared out. And then, this is something we can all be ashamed of. Or I can be ashamed of anyway. Jesus, look at this garage. 
It's horrible. I still need to clear everything off that shelf up on the hangy shelf and just random crap out here. But we've got a we've got our new trailer here. I have a video actually of this trailer being built. The big white one behind the truck. It's a 32 foot triple axle can carry 15,000 pounds and uh, yeah, for whatever that's worth we aren't going to put that much in it but but I will uh, use it for storage for the time being and then you really can't see much huh and then our RV which we're going to use as our house um, but you can kind of see it's uh, only about a third full right now and the remaining bit I'm going to be filling up with uh, with the rest of our junk and then these solar panels here will go well actually next after our junk will go the uh, metal working stuff I've got here and then that air compressor over there and then in front of that or behind that actually towards the back of the trailer will go the solar panels and then finally the white motorcycle will go in there along with a toolbox trailer that I have in the backyard and I'm going to drive down to Trilingua, drop it off at a guy's place and then ride my motorcycle back home with the toolbox trailer which is just a small a small version of these trailers over here these uh, big fiberglass jobs it's basically about Ah, oh, you can barely see it. Too bad it's not lit up out here. I wonder, hold on, I know I can do this. Ha ha, torch on. So, um, you can see how big this trailer is. Basically, the toolbox trailer cuts off right there as far as the body goes. It just basically cuts off that tail piece. So it's 36 inches by 18 inches. And uh, anyway, but it's big enough for me to throw clothes and whatnot in and be comfortable on the way home and uh, then when I get home we've got a 20 foot uh, uh, flatbed trailer that will throw all throw the both motorcycles on and all of our lawn and garden type stuff and whatnot and throw a tarp over it strap it down and away we go so that's the plan I guess it's been almost eight minutes so I'm gonna sign off now and I will get a video together well, of the building of that guy next and some other stuff tomorrow but I just felt like I needed to get an update out here so I I'm doing that see you guys in the next one bye